Oh, I'm watching the biggest train wreck ever on YouTube right now. Right, I need to like set my camera up. I wasn't gonna. I was editing the Chewy Gem video that I just recorded and um, saw Trisha Paytas trending on Twitter <laughs> and now I have been unsubscribed to from, from her for a very long time because every time something's trending she claims it. Have self-diagnosed myself I guess is multiple personality disorder. She's claimed to have all these random diagnoses whenever it's trending. And yesterday she came out with a video titled Meet My Alters. A Meet My Alters video. From what I've seen the response of and from what I've seen, she just deeply offended an entire community. They have worked so bloody hard to build up a safe space. I only got to three minutes of the video and I set my camera up, so. Okay guys, I am like extremely heated and extremely emotional right now. Same. And this video is specifically to Anthony Padilla, who I fucking loved, admired, Padilla. respected. Okay. He is the one person, one YouTuber, aside from like Shane and like the people that are my friends, He's the one YouTuber that I wasn't like friends with or had any prior connection to that I was like, that guy is so sweet. I met him at YouTubers React one time and I was like, you know what, he had prior- That guy I met one time, he's a really great guy. Wasn't one of those YouTubers who didn't act like he didn't know who I was and vice versa. It was just very sweet and very nice and knows you know, a lot of- I think everyone knows who Trisha Pays is. Queen of drama on YouTube. Literally, she's probably one of the most problematic YouTubers that- She's probably the most problematic female YouTuber. That I'm this crazy bitch and all this stuff like that and I make videos about people. Here's the thing, I don't- In case you guys haven't noticed, I don't make videos about people who don't- I make videos about me and my journey and my struggle. No. What's the title of the video called? Dear Anthony. Anyway, back to this. Person. I think it's apparent to everybody that has watched me for some time that I have a lot of mental health issues and I have a lot. Anyone who's watched me from day one from when I started this channel knows that I have a lot of mental health issues. I've documented the entire diagnosis process, every inpatient, pretty much, not all of them, every misdiagnosis, put footage of me having PTSD attacks, I've put on videos of me literally blacking out because of stress, because of my mental health. I find Trisha so infuriating because as someone who genuinely has shared their journey online, to hear her say that is like, it's the most infuriating feeling ever because you're just like, no, you have you've made a bunch of random claims that have been disproven at every single point and you only have a label and forgetting that I just don't like but as someone who does create YouTube content that's about my own struggles like I talk very openly in very raw situations when I'm in hospital my last admission when I was getting like I am I was so paranoid about things I recorded and shared that and that's the dark side of mental health using a label to get viewers and it suits you like you don't see me making a video I think mean, I've got dissociative identity disorder just because it's in trending because any D decent person can see the one I don't have dissociative identity disorder we all know this because you can tell in people with her every time mental illness is in a trending tab she claims she has it I can't even imagine how infuriating that is especially people who genuinely have dissociative identity disorder of struggles with mental illness and I've struggled with it my entire life. People love to point it out on the internet constantly. Claiming you have disassociative identity disorder is not cool excuse to mock people in the community and call them crazy. I have suffered with identity issues for just because I act differently in different situations does not mean I have dissociative identity disorder. I have very low self-esteem, so I do everything I can to not piss a person off and to fit into a situation to not feel like I'm drawing more attention to myself. Or not a dissociative disorder. Dissociative identity disorder isn't even an identity disorder, it's a dissociative disorder. That's what infuriated me. This is the, this is the statement that got me to make, turn my camera on because I'm just like, how dare she think she can claim this when she is literally contradicting the entire definition of dissociative identity disorder. Dissociative identity disorder is a disorder from what I understand where you're not supposed to know you have it because of the amnesiac walls that go up. And I might be wrong in that, do not quote me on that, I'm not a professional in this field on that subject. So um, go check out channels actually informed such as dissociative.
Multiple personality disorder is a very out of date diagnosis. For dissociative identity disorder, it's very out of date. But it means the same as dissociative identity disorder. It's not about trying to find out who you are. So as I said periodically throughout this video, I do not have dissociative identity disorder. I'm not going to say she does or doesn't have a personal opinion. I don't think she does. But as she said, and using her words exactly, it's the internet. We all have a right to an opinion. I think she's also harmful towards the whole YouTube community in a way because companies start seeing big YouTuber like that they're not going to want to work with creators because they will assume they're going to be fucking gobby and ruin their brand so essentially it's ruining the platform for everybody not just mental health creators but for other creators too Do I look crazy? In a past video she's always claimed borderline not dissociative identity disorder the minute it was trending she has dissociative identity disorder that's what I have to say on that little segment there. She goes with whatever's trending, which is why no one believes this dissociative identity disorder thing. It's like a boy who cried wolf. You can only do things so many times before people just don't believe you. Unfortunately, she definitely crossed that line a long time ago. Which is why she's always in drama and fights and... Like, you and I but sitting here now could probably both agree that she doesn't have dissociative identity disorder. In what, From what I've seen of her, she does not meet any of the criteria for dissociative identity disorder. Don't listen to what she says about dissociative identity disorder because basically everything she said was scientifically incorrect and I think she is... I just... Don't follow her. No, yeah, I'm ending it there. I, I don't have anything more to say. Okay, okay, do that. I'm gonna go and de-crazy myself. Bye, guys.